Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about uh, Doctor Who, the Santalan Stratagem, and the Poison Sky, which is series 4, episodes 4 and 5. So, I gotta say, these are probably the weakest episodes of the season, however, these are still good episodes. Which makes you realize, it's a great season. In fact, I gotta say, series 4 is probably my favorite in all of Doctor Who. And that's saying a lot, guys, because there's 39 seasons... Uh, but yeah, series full of the modern era is the best. But yeah, this episode, it's not really a weak link. It's just kind of, it's good. You know, not amazing like some of the other episodes of the season. So after like 20 years, we get the return of the Santalans, last seen in the two Doctors. Um, so we see General Stahl, who is using call these new calls to... Um, take over the world or something and at least the Santalans feel like an actual threat I feel like with the Moffat era and especially the Chibnall era the Santalans are more of like a goofy villain who don't really have any like you're not as afraid of them but you know in this one they are pretty goofy but they're still threatening they kill people and stuff it's it's actually like they ha they have stakes so this episode features the triumphant return of Martha Jones, played amazingly by Freema Ageman. Um, so she summons the Doctor back to help Unit with the deaths of people in these calls. Like the calls are driving themselves into the ocean with people inside of them. They're getting all gassed up and killing people in a honestly pretty frightening way. Though, like I said, um, I just think it's real that in three episodes, everybody's going to forget all about this. It's like every time Oath gets invaded or real shit happens, nobody remembers it. It's like, oh, wow, did you see those plastic mannequins come out of the windows and start killing people? Uh, no, I don't remember that. Like, it's like nothing in this universe is ever, like, everybody forgets about it. And by the next episode, they're like, aliens don't exist. It's like, come on, guys, really? I do enjoy... You know, I love when old companions come back and we get to see how their lives has changed since the Doctor. Um, I kind of wish they did that more often. I do like how uh, the power of the Doctor did that. But yeah, I love Martha's friendship with Donna. How like after Rose met Sarah Jane, the Doctor just assumes that the companions are going to hate each other. But they actually like end up being friends, which is kind of sweet for me. I enjoy that. I like how we've seen how mature, matured Martha is as a person now. She's no longer, like, over the doctor. You know, she's, she's kind of an own, her own person now. She has a fiancé, they're going to get married, yada, yada, yada. It's it's sweet. I also like uh, Donna reuniting with her family. Um, her mom's a bitch as usual. But her grandpa is just so sweet and encouraging. I, I just love, like, all of his scenes. <laughs> Even though, like, him getting suffocated by the call was a little cheesy, I, I gotta say. But his scenes with Donna are just so heartfelt. Like, he he seems like such a supportive grandpa. I love it. You know what's a huge missed opportunity is if, like, the Doctor, Donna, and Wilf all traveled together for a couple episodes. That would have been amazing. We see Donna travel with him in this episode, like, in this season. And then we see Wilf travel with him in the end of time, but... What would have been so cool is if they were all able to travel together. I don't know. Maybe there's a big finish with that somehow. So Martha gets cloned by the Santalans. And I like how the, like, she becomes a little self-aware about it. Like, she gets all of Martha's memories. So she actually kind of turns good in the end. It's it's very complicated, but I think it's a very active scene. Freema has very good chemistry with Freema, I think it works out well. I do kind of have a problem with the portrayal of Unit in this episode because it's very clear it's not the same Unit as they were in the 70s, and I just like the warmth of the original Unit, which is something I do think Stephen Moffat brought back a lot in his era, bringing back um, Kate Stewart and introducing Osgood was a good way to bring back that kind of 70s like friendship that Unit had. And here it's very cold and kind of just militaristic. The one major problem I have with this episode is, um, like, evil Wesley Crussell and his stupid plan and his awful American accent. 
Uh, I just don't like him. I don't know, he just seems too whiny. I, like, I know that's the point, but still, he just, like, he just has a punchable face. But maybe, you know, I think that's the point of the episode. You're not supposed to like him. But yeah, overall, a really good episode. It ends with Martha getting stuck in the Tallis as they get transported to, um, you know, the Jenny planet. Which, I don't think she really needed to be part of that episode. I just think it was, like, an excuse to keep her on the shelf a little bit more. But if I were them, I would have just, you know, kept Martha out of that episode and have her come back to her normal life. Which is what she wanted. But, you know, the more Martha the better, I guess. You know it'd be cool. Um, because they are making a unit spin-off, as if they bring back Malta. Like, why not? That'll be awesome. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna give these episodes a C. Like I said, not that great, but, you know, considering these are the worst episodes of the season, it's still pretty good, which shows that the rest of the season is really great. So, yeah, let me know you guys thought of this episode down in the comments below, and I'll be talking about, um, other shows and books and stuff. Um, so, subscribe below if you're into that, and until next time, peace.